Hi, my name is Anthony Salsicholi, and I'm going to be teaching world history this year. I'm really excited to be doing so, and it's the end of our first day of school, and the first day of school is always a really fantastic energy. People greeting each other for the first time in a couple months, and people trying to size up their teachers and find their classrooms and spinning their locker dials and figuring all that out. Always a very, very cool energy. Uh, the reason why I am making these videos, it's the first one I've ever made, so this one's not going to uh, be great. Obviously, I have a face for radio to start with, and I don't know the effects and the uh, whistles and bells yet. But my administrators challenged us to try something we haven't done before or do something outside of our comfort zone, and I chose to make these videos. Uh, a lot of it was due to uh, being asked by students in the past saying, hey, I was absent a couple days or I need some clarification. You know, a video would be something really positive. I mean, we, we have these John Green videos and these other videos and whatnot. Why can't you do it? Um, I'm not saying mine are going to be as good as John Green's, but hopefully it provides a visual for uh, my students and my parents to uh, know what's going on and be in the loop. And today's class was really basic. It was a half day, 22 minutes, and there's only a couple things I wanted to get done. And the first thing was to get on my class page. So I'm looking at google.com, obviously, and if you type in S-A-L-C-I-C-C-I-O-L-I, -C -C -I -I, that is my very long last name, and then the word Moodle, it's like noodle with an M, and hit enter, it should come right up. Celso Choli's World History Course. Now, my entire class is on this Moodle page. Uh, it's a lot lighter than the 8-pound 1400 pound book that's underneath the seats of the desks right now. Uh, I didn't enjoy lugging those around as a kid and I'm thinking people in this day and age don't either. So we do use the book periodically but the class is driven by this page and you can see the units of the class. Today was our first day foundations and introductions. If you scroll down you will see letter to the parents, course itinerary, nothing that's super exciting. Uh, you can read those on your own, but I would like to focus on a couple of things, and that being the class rules, the procedure to what to do when you are absent, and then to invite you to bookmark the page and get on some social media. So the first item is class rules, and I believe in these class rules very, very strongly. I do feel they will make for a better class. They just will. And I will follow these very, very diligently because um, in my experience these are the five things that are needed for a successful class and rule number one is be honest it is so important in any relationship business or otherwise to be honest it's very hard to recover if you're dishonest I would much rather have a harsh unpleasant conversation that's real than um, happy, happy deception. So please, please, please be honest with me. I promise to be honest with you. And I think that's a great starting point in any relationship. Number two might be the most important one, and that is in my class, we will always build people up. We will not tear down. It is hard enough to be a teenager going to school and do all those things. Having your classmates tear you down only makes it worse. So I have the full expectation that we are kind to one another, me included, and I will not tolerate any put-downs whatsoever. That will make me change my sunny disposition very quickly, and I hope I don't have to do that. Now, number three I get a lot of, and it's not an illogical way of looking at things where students will say, hey, why are we doing this? It's not going to apply to what I'm going to do for a living or this, that, and the other thing. I'm hoping that my students can realize it's not the what, it's the how. And if you use logic, if you want to do anything better, for example, you want to be a better swimmer, swim more. You want to be a better baker, bake more. Now to me, I'm hoping I have better readers, better writers, better debaters, people who are better with technology, and uh, I will not be a one-trick pony. We're going to be doing all sorts of different things, and not everybody's going to be happy every day, but I'm hoping all the skill sets that I put in place gets everybody better, gets them stronger, gets them to a better place. So again, please focus on the how, not the what. Number four, every person has value. Every voice needs to be heard, and you know, I've been on 
the other side of the desk is a student and those people who have incredible needs for attention. It's a, look at me, 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 me. And they talk the whole time and nobody else gets their voice heard. And then there's some people, nobody pays attention to them. They become invisible. I call them hogs and logs. Some people hog all the volume, hog all the attention. And other people just sit there like logs. I want every voice to be heard because every voice has value, and I sincerely believe that. And number five, it breaks my heart when I see people drop out or fail. I will do everything in my power to make sure nobody fails my class because if my students fail, I feel it's my failure, and I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that doesn't happen. I'm very, very proud of my high passing rates what I hang my hat on and I will do all that I can to keep it. So those are the five big rules and I think if we follow those we're going to have a really good class. Now another item I wanted to focus on is the class procedure for absent students. This is a lot quicker and simpler but quite frankly uh, a lot of people are absent. A lot of people get sick or have family obligations, this, that, and the other thing. People fall behind and they never get out of that hole and I feel really really bad and I've seen it many times a sickness or a long-term vacation whatever so when you are gone please contact a friend of yours contact a classmate it's modern times there's so many ways to contact people text social media phone call doesn't matter try that first if that fails look at my Moodle page which I'm going to show you a little more in depth in a moment Oftentimes that will answer your question or please contact me. You can see my personal emails right there. It goes right to my phone. That's my job. Please don't be the person who's gone for a long time, shows up and says, hey, what have we been up to? You have to do that for six classes. It doesn't bode well for the rest of your year. So please do that when you're absent. Now, another thing we focused on today was, uh, strangely enough, our final exam. And the final exam is on a, going to be something called the Big 100. And I realize it's in the other section. It's in the Foundations and Introduction section. Here it is, the Big 100. Now, it's a little strange to give the final exam uh, the first day of class, but if you look at the Big 100, that's a lot of stuff for anybody to know, yet alone a teenager. And here it is, the Big 100, the 100 things I want you to know. Now, here's the good news. The final exam is open notes. So if you chip away at these one at a time, one at a time throughout the year, come June, it's not very hard. If you try to do this from memory in June, it's a lot more challenging. So those were the three items we focused on. Um, the rules, the uh, what to do when you're absent, the big 100. And I want to give a little more detail about my Moodle page. Every lesson that I have is here. So if you're having an off day or you need to review or if I was going too quickly, anything, and I'm just did unit four as a hypothetical, every PowerPoint, every Word document, and as a matter of fact, every test question is at the bottom in the form of cahoots. So I've structured this to be as transparent as I can with my students, with my parents, and to hope that I get 100% passing. I want every one of my students in a couple years to be on stage in their graduation gowns doing their thing. So that's my Moodle page. Um, I will bookmark it, hit the star, done, and that is there whenever I need to access it. I will invite you as well to uh, join my Twitter page or follow me on Twitter. See, I'm fairly old. I don't use the proper lingo. And my Twitter handle is at SauceWH. And uh, students are welcome to it. Parents are welcome to it. You can check out what we're doing. We'll post what we're doing. So I'm very excited for the school year. I have completed my first video. Hopefully as you watch these, I get better because I'm sure this isn't fantastic. But in all seriousness, I'm very, very excited and thrilled to be working with everybody. And let's hope for good things. I'm thinking it's going to happen. Thank you.